Hello everyone, in this video let us learn how we can use a script runner to modify the summary field of an issue. So today I want to talk about uh, post function and uh, when you install a script runner for Jira on your Jira instance, you will also get a lot of uh, workflow functions like uh, post functions or maybe uh, validators or, valid or or maybe conditions. So in this video, let us uh, take one example of uh, a post function where we can modify the summary automatically. Now before I can show you the uh, actual uh, post function, I just want to show you what I'm going to do in this uh, video. So let me create uh, a new issue in uh, Jira. So when I click on the create button, I can of course uh, fill up this form, create issue form, and uh, I'm trying to raise a new bug. Now I'm going to type in my summary, like uh, this is my summary, and I will probably leave the rest of the fields as it is, blank maybe, and I'll click on the create button. So the moment I create this issue, the summary that I entered was, uh, this is uh, a summary. And if I click on uh, this issue, which is uh, uh, Android 128, you can see here that uh, this uh, text, sample text has been added automatically to my summary. Now this is just one example where I'm using a post function. Now, the moment I click on the create uh, button, when the issue is uh, created, it will modify the original summary and it will add this uh, text to it. Now this text could be any text or it could be from any other field uh, from your Jira issue. Now to do this, you need to modify the workflow that you have used right now in your project for your bug issue type. For example, in this case, I'm using bug. Now let me modify the workflow and I'll show you what I am uh, doing here. Now, since this post function is uh, applicable on the create issue transition, I can click on the create issue transition, which is the very first transition, which is going to my open uh, status. And uh, if I click on the post functions here, I can take a look at uh, all the post functions that I have in my uh, issue right now, uh, of course, in my workflow, which is attached to my bug. Now, there is already a post function which I added earlier. Let me show you the uh, code. And by the way, this is the custom script post function. So you will get this post function only when you install script runner for Jira. So let me uh, click on the edit and show you the code. And the code is uh, nothing but uh, just uh, one simple line. So this is the code. And uh, in this particular piece of code, I am uh, using this inline script where I am simply modi modifying the original summary and I'm adding this uh, text here. Now, when you're working with a post function, or in fact, when you, whenever you're working with script now, and you have to add uh, a code, you can always uh, click on this question mark and you will be able to figure out all the available binding variables uh, that you have access to. Now in this case, I already have access to my issue binding, vari binding variable and uh, with the new version of uh, script runner, in case you want to know what all you can do with issue, for example, you can click on issue and you can uh, uh, press uh, maybe control space on your uh, on your computer and you will get the list of all the methods or uh, all the all the possible things that you can now do with an issue so you can of course uh, use this new code editor which i talk a lot but uh, today in this video i just wanted to show you how we can use uh, script post function using a script runner for jira and uh, we can modify the issue summary on the create issue transition. Now you can also use this uh, script post function 
using script or not for any other transition and the whole idea behind a post function is to do something when your transition has happened now i want to modify my text after my issue has been created and this is just one simple example where i am replacing my original summary with a text which is hard coded but this text could be any field as i mentioned earlier it could be any field from your actual issue in uh, in jira so this is all i wanted to share in this uh, video i hope you learned something new today thank you very much Thank <laughs> you.